Mr. Skr... Who <laughs> doesn't like Grog? Right. <laughs> well, Travis. With the player and the character. <laughs> Travis is daddy. Travis <laughs> is daddy. Yeah, well, and he's gotten daddier you, uh, as time has passed. Oh my god, especially like right now. Mm -hmm. oh. He's like full daddy. And it's not just for the fact that he actually is a dad, he has a son. Still, he's just... Mm. Mm, daddy. <laughs> Travis and Liam. Both do it for me. For different reasons. Liam I is very really like Liam. I, well, if there that... was another person that I'd be more interested in, that I'd be interested in besides that, I'd be more of a talisman. But Liam is the dad next door. Oh, like, he's our dad, yeah. Yeah, oh. you can go to him about anything. Like, Hey, uh, why uh, did they get rid of, um... Orion? Sorry. Dragonborn? I don't know, I don't know his personal Dragonborn? name. Uh, yeah. Uh, because um, he was causing personal issues between the staff. Well, uh, officially, it was never revealed. People have made assumptions, guess. You, you can, you, you can kind of tell during some of the original episodes. Uh, Sam kind of got a little bit. And then he would, it, there was, there was problems. But... He, he was an amical separation. He liked to toe past the line a lot. Toe what? Toe the line of what make like what comfortable for the table. Um, he liked to toe past that line a lot. Okay. But we got Percy. No, Percy is there. Percy? Tiberius. That's it. Tiberius Stolbrin. Yeah. After Tony. I know that. I know that. We're talking about Vox Machina. Mm. Yeah, because absolutely. the Legend of Vox Machina just released, apparently. I want to watch that, but I have no knowledge of it. I know of it, it's on, but... It's on Prime Video. What's nice. great about it is you don't need knowledge of it to watch this. Yeah, because it's a prequel to anything that's going on in, that was going on with but, yeah, the critical would, group. Yeah, I would say you just don't need to know any anything. It's just a fun jump in. <laughs> it, it's a it's just a fun tale uh, of Exandria and a, a group of misfits misfits who originally called themselves the Shits. Until mm. they realized they probably should have more of a better name, and they and they call themselves Fox. They name themselves Fox Machina. I don't, I don't remember oh. the origin of the name. Because that was pre-stream. Mm -hmm. Especially with dealing with the Emperor of Teldor, Emperor Teldori. It was Emperor. Yeah. Is that his title? I think so. Okay. Hey, should we do a show? Let's do yeah. a show. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Bears and Dragons, uh, the show, the uh, couple of podcasts where uh, a bunch of snooty ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you. I appreciate that. So last time uh, was the beach episode. Someone was a dirty birdie. Lassiter. <laughs> I saw what happened under the water. You saw nothing. I saw everything. I mean, we we determined by what I saw. <laughs> I mean, the water was clear, but it was dark. Right. Some people had dark vision, so. AKA the dampier of the group. Yeah, we had a beach episode. We all got all nice and cleaned up and everything. Then we Which got reminds me. Um, so it it's been established that 
Um, You're Ron's bitch. <laughs> whatever. Um, we, if not all of us, know what vampires are. Do would we know what? Um, uh, dampire. Dampier. A dampier. We talked about it. Uh, we in game discussed it. I'm not sure if Roderick oh. even knows exactly what he is. <laughs> Probably not the terminology, but because before this game, I'd never even heard of damn. It was in uh, Ben Richton's ben Guide Richards. to Ravenloft. The newer book that came out, like last year. Okay. But yeah. Uh, so we had our beach episode. Got nice and clean. Some people were frisky. Um, and hmm. then. Uh, we continue traveling. Has a relationship with the dork. I mean, what do you expect? Um, dun, dun, dun. So we continue traveling, and during our travels, a cave happened, and we got transported somewhere. We don't know where yet. No, you weren't really transported. You're just uh, the 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 cave in, and while well, two. The passages you're traversing closed off uh, during the cave-in. A new passage opened up. The air is stale and perceptively thin. And beyond well, this portal is... Well, you don't know. You haven't explored it yet. Uh, but it is very dark. You don't see any light coming from it. Everyone all right? Mm. Or I off am, and stuff. am I okay? Oh, to uh, begin with, uh, I'm pretty sure Sarah would cast pre prestidigit. Sarah looks perfection. Um, perfection. Prestidigitation. That's right. That's right. You're the one who can't pronounce it. <laughs> Someone in the group didn't do it. We found out who. Um, <laughs> it's, it's the reason why I don't do playcasters. So. <laughs> or at uh, least our game casters. So yeah, as I'm like just dusting myself off and everything, just like look to everyone and just call out, everyone all right? Am I okay? Uh, yeah, you're fine. Uh, you're currently being... Uh, uh, Covered by an orc. And he's apparently trying to protect you from any debris. We're on protection level. Awesome. <laughs> um uh, I will I will begin my um medical search of people. I don't know what to use, how to say that. Yeah, you're you're just giving everybody a once over. Just make sure everything everybody's hunky dory. Hey um, guys, mm -hmm. oh, could I get just a couple of minutes to go do something? It may take me like 10, 15 minutes. I'm so sorry. I promise this will never happen again. But okay, right. yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'll be back. Keep going or wait. Uh, we can do kind of a, a little like rest period here while um, everyone check over themselves. You guys, kind of like, like just yeah. I wouldn't say necessarily will be too too long, but you do notice that the air seems to be perceptibly thin and stale. Um, how's the lighting? Can Haley see? Uh, you gave her a light, right? Oh, yeah, I did cast light on something, or axe or something. Yeah, or axe. A-X-E, people, not... Anyways. <laughs> so Roger's kind of uh, just going to do a preliminary scout for not too far from everyone, but just, just a little bit. Seeing that the cave entrance, this like entrance over here. 
I will pick stool up and trade places with him. And ask everyone else to use me, move out my way, so I can join the search. Not search, but look. Yeah. Uh, any idea where we are, Sarah? Yeah. Or Jim Jar? Uh, I, I, I no, never seen this place before. Of course, I don't really do much traveling through the Underdark, except from city to city, and uh, if necessary. But usually, I have stuck around uh, just near Blingenstone. Helped out on a on a little venture outside the city, and that's where I got cut by the drow. But usually, I I hung out there. So, and these caves are always changing too. You never know what's gonna happen. Hmm. Um, could so I is, had Darth is kind of looking in the on the cardinal directions. He's looking towards the into the cave, uh, but kind of like yeah, probably the same direction. Like this. Yeah. So, I, I look at Sarah's, and I look in a direction that he's looking in, and I say, all right, we'll just... His eyes seem to be, like, looking past everything. Fucking so he's not really looking at the tunnels. He's looking in a direction, more like it. Uh, it's like he can see beyond the walls. All he can see is uh, you don't know what's the name of that place never like grove <laughs> never like uh all right well we need to get out of here so we can hurry up and get to greco's food did i say it right this time yes yes awesome. good job <laughs> Correct pronunciations. There, you got a round of applause. Let's go, I've people. Had, I, I, I've been doing that joke since uh, I was in Cub Scouts. That's Not where Boy I learned Scouts, it. Cub, Cub Scouts. Scouts. That's where I learned it. <laughs> Never made it to Boy Scouts. I don't I'm, remember I'm if sorry. I did go to Boy Scouts. I did become a Weeblo, though. What's the difference between Boy and Cub Scout? Uh, Boy Scouts is more like uh, uh, maybe 8th or ninth grade. Up. And when I say up, you could still be a Boy Scout past senior in high school. Um, Order of the Arrow. Um, but they're more of like the elementary school. Yeah, Cub Scouts is more when you're in elementary. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think there's like Wolf, Bear, and Weeblow? Something like that? Yeah. It's been a long time. It's got the Cub Scout manual. <laughs> Excuse me. Good I? Go look over here. Uh, you do. Uh, you also, uh, as you go down to the tunnel tunnels, uh, you do see that the ground is wet. It is still solid, but wet. I'll just let Roger do his thing. Walls here uh, are 10 feet high and glisten with dark dripping water. 
just giving up the vibe. Anything? Well, off to the right, it kind of just dead ends. But it looks like when I went off to the left, like it kept going a bit. I didn't want to get too far ahead and and everything before and possibly mishaps happen. It's very damp here. If you go into like the left, like the water, the ground gets really wet. Like it's still pretty solid, but wet. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we could, uh, possibly split up into two groups. Um, Why? When we only go one, we only go one way. Yeah. What? Why? Then why split up? There's no reason to split up. Don't split up. Cause I just know how much you love splitting the party. <laughs> um, but mm, nah. I think there's one particular person that likes splitting the party to cause the exorbitant amount of chaos as possible. Likes making de bad decisions for the party. Uh, you know, like ordering a dog. <laughs> <laughs> In a place full of undead. I just Haley's don't mind. hair looks fabulous. <laughs> it is on it, point today. It is on point. The damp air is doing wonders for it. Cyra's probably a little grumpy because the damp air isn't so good for her. Eldith doesn't give a rat's ass because Eldis is Eldis and she's a badass. Um, <laughs> oh, Cubby, his hair is on point today. He's like, who can see me? It's like, Ollie's, Ollie's hair is on point today. Um, I would like to go ahead and look for myself. Like, Be I, careful. I, I totally believe in Roderick's, uh, what's it called? scouting skills but i am a curious guy yeah the rough hewn rock walls are about 10 feet high i of these 10 foot high, high 10 feet high areas glisten with dark dripping water i won't go any farther i would like to stay in it is very wet everyone with within sight it's, it's more damp at this point, at least. Did you check, uh, like, everywhere, like, down the hall? I went this way, and it's a dead end. Just, just opens up to a dead end. <clears throat> All right. I looked over here, and it looks like it continues on, but I didn't, like, I literally stopped right here. I didn't try to go any further. If I want to, I can go, I can try to, uh, scout more. Uh, we should probably just wait and, uh, come up with a better plan. Can you do uh, a bit of a stealth scouting? I mean, um, I, honestly, I don't mind you going up and checking, but I feel like other people might you know, want you to stay with them and stay with the team, party. Well, I agree. I'm not going to do any more right now. I'm just saying I can if we need to. I'm probably one of the better people here besides Jim Jar to do a bit of stealth scouting. I agree. <clears throat> Unless our friend, uh, Gage could like split his shadow and like send it forward. I'm not gonna meta. That's meta? No, no, I was going to meta. Okay. 
Because I know things. <laughs> so. It just, it just I, sounds I, like I, something. If you, you may not understand, I can't see through my shadow. Oh. There go. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, I'm so. I'm better at stealthy than Jimchar. Honestly, me as a actual person, I thought that was something they could do. <laughs> He's rogue esque, yes. but he's still kind of low level. Oh, he has a plus uh, four. I have a plus eight. Oh, are our um NPCs leveling up? Nope. As well? No. Oof. Okay. There, there's a reason why why Stool only still only has seven HP. Oh, he's got a lot of armor. <laughs> like, just... ton of armor. A lot. A lot. He, he might get damaged here and there. He never... actually goes below... too much. For some reason, his health never goes below 7. Yeah. Looking at it... The best people to stealth scout is. Uh, actually, dang, okay, me and Styra. I have a plus eight, she has a plus seven. I heard my name. <laughs> Did you need something? Oh, God, it's oh. wet. This is actually Dustin saying that, not Roderick. <laughs> Um, uh, everybody roll me, in, roll me an intelligence check. Yeah, you will, twenty bitches. Am I rolling for Syrah? Uh, Roderick, actually, <laughs> you don't need to worry. Yeah, no, we'll keep it. Yeah, roll for Syrah too. Oh, um, oh. okay. Haley's not that. Haley's not that smart. <laughs> he rolled a two and got a one. All right, is it Haley or Holly? You just said both. You corrected yourself to ho to Holly. Holly. I always thought it was Haley, but it's Holly. Okay, so I, I was right to begin yes. with. Yes, you were right. I was wrong. Have I? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. So the Syrah and Roderick realize. Well, actually, Roderick doesn't quite realize. Might be able to intuit. But uh, Syrah's like, it was pretty thin in here. We might not have much room air to breathe. She looks I can help. Roderick. I don't think that will be a problem with you. Yeah, I can help with that, actually. I can just not take the air. I mean, do you take any air anyways? No. So then, doesn't she? I can do the motions and stuff, like it and all, but I don't require to do it. I can forcibly make myself not do it. We, yes, we, please, don't breathe. Roger, you definitely breathing. hold your breath, I suppose. But we better, we best find a way out of here as soon as possible, otherwise, we may suffocate. Oh, hey, um. Um, you, you might have just did this just for convenience sake, but, uh, Zyra and I have the same sight, um, like, I, I can see as far as I can with Zyra with myself. Yeah, that's because you have control over me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that's how that worked. My bad. Yeah. 
In order to control her, you must also see her. <laughs> see what she does. So yes, that's oh. intentional. Are y'all doing y'all, uh, like, scouting together? Or? I think it'll probably be best. If we do scouting, probably might be best. Cyrus, like, Cyrus looks at, um, Silva. Or, Roger looks at Silva. Be like, hmm. So, I did that to check to see if he would, uh, he, his understanding of familiars. To see if he would know to be able to look through familiars. Uh, she's done it before, I believe. So my, here's my idea. How far of a long of a range do you have with Silva that you can see through? Oh, that's right. Lester at <laughs> Lester now has two familiars that he needs to take care of. Silva, um, little door cat. I am looking. My bad. Um. So like a hundred isn't like a hundred feet. I know for Borcat it can be longer if you take an invocation, but that all depends on if you took the invocation. One hundred feet to communicate it, communicate it, communicate with it telepathically. I think um, you can see through it by up to a mile. A mile. All right. That that works great. That works perfectly. So my thought is Silva comes like stay here. <clears throat> and Silva comes with me. So you'll be able to see through Silva's eyes and communicate with everyone else what's going on. Well that way it's easier for us to remain in stealth. Fewer people, easier to remain hit. My thought. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was I was scared. <laughs> Poor cat. Uh oh. Um, I don't. I'm not sure how much it would help, but Poor Cat might be able to go with you as. Well, I can. Both of them can come with me. That's fine. And both of you can remote view or whatever it is through a, a, a gold dragon's uh, wormling pops onto your shoulder, Roderick. And it's still good day to you too. Um, uh, he can pretty much just uh communicate basic emotions to me. I think. Still getting used to him. Um, little Borkat, uh, 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 kind of uh, nuzzles your neck, Roderick. Scratch under its chin. It starts thumping its foot. Ah, oh, that's the spot, isn't it? Oh, okay, I found it. It's my spot, dude. Like, I found that like, Um. All right, so I won't go up ahead for a little bit. Still with it, like try to not get too far up, and do a bit of scouting for everyone. Um, mm -hmm. Lassiter, you're going to remote view through uh, Borcat. I don't think I can look through his eyes, but can I? Yes, you can. He he looks he looks back at you. Uh, you can definitely tell he rolls his eyes, being like, "Yeah." That's <laughs> him being. Dustin saying this as someone playing a warlock pack of the chain. Yes, you can remote view through your. Um... Yeah, it's just, it, because it's find familiar spell. Yes. So, you same can do thing. It. Same thing that uh, how same way that Syra got got uh, uh, Soba. Technically, that's how you got little Borgad. Just being a warlock, you have a little more 
flexibility with it through what you can have your familiar be and what invocations can help improve your um, relationship with your being able to view further away and stuff, communicate directly through your familiar and stuff like that. A lot of fancy stuff. Gual was was a warlock of the Pact of the Chain, so... Uh, I, I look back at a Borcad after he rolls his eyes and fills his, uh... What would you call it? Um... An annoyance, I guess? I don't know. Yeah. And Just... all of a sudden... All of a sudden... Your... All of a sudden your vision... Just goes black for a second... And all of a sudden, you're looking at you, and then you feel, then you have this like circular motion as little Borkad rolls his eyes. And it, and it looks back and looks over, and there's Laster's face just huge in your vision. And uh, Roderick. Or, yeah, Roderick's face is just huge in your vision. It's like, you didn't do it, he forced it on you. <laughs> I, um, um, I step, uh, backwards, trying to step forward, but because I'm in, uh, Borkad's eyes, I stepped the wrong way. You feel, uh, uh, a little hand, uh, touch your foot. Uh, 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 duel? You suddenly, you, you, uh, the your vision uh, turns back, and you see you standing there, and you see a little mushroom person uh, uh, standing next to you. Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. Uh, can, can I? Can he he I turns back? his uh, back. <laughs> back is like. Rah! I want to go back. <laughs> We're going to flutter forward. Well, wait, wait, um, wait. Come back here. Uh, be, before... You're, you're vi this is just such a weird sensation because little Borkad isn't even, like, bothering with however you want anything to happen. He's just... You're just seeing through his eyes and he seems to move a lot. <laughs> Jumps back God. on Greg's shoulder. You need to stay right his, here, all right? Tilts his head, and Lasser, your head does not move, and your vision tilts. Okay, you little bitch. <laughs> can I can I make an insight check on Borkat? Yeah, go ahead. Just Rogers, like you scratching again under his chin, like you need to stay right here, okay? We're about to go out. Mm. No, there's something on the foot. Eight. Yeah. Um, I mean, from what you've you've seen of Bortad, he is kind of a. He's never really truly been helpful. He's just been there. I mean, he's been helpful. He was helpful when he brought the amulet to you after you took it off, and st stupidly. Um. And he's very, like, he's, even though he is your familiar, he really seems like somebody else's familiar. But you could definitely tell, no, this, because of this, what I can do here, he is definitely my familiar. It's a weird relationship you guys have. Compared to Sova and Syra, who seems to be much more cordial. All right. So me and uh, Borcat are going to go ahead and start uh, scouting. Oh, I'm sorry. Before y'all go, I, I would like to regain my vision. Uh, uh, I will ask. I, I, want you to, I, want you, I want you to roll me a uh, wisdom check. Okay, so you're easily able to, to you you go like ah oh, you idiot <laughs> and you pull yourself back into your to yourself. Great. Uh, I 
I have a moment. You feel this of... slight tug on your tug in your mind, like Borkat's trying to pull your vision back, but uh, oh. you, you you you're like no. <laughs> Um, work. So I I don't want to be standing throughout this whole uh thing. Um, Rant, uh, c- could could you possibly come and uh just let me sit and lean on you or whatever? Uh, Rant sits down against the wall, puts out his arms. And He's got I his legs help. crossed. Oh. Okay. He just sit in his lap. Haley, I want you to come up, and then uh, while this is all happening, Roderick's gonna turn to Haley and just ask her to, like, post guard up here. She does. She's got her lit axe. And I will try to Her axe is lit. L-I-G-H-T. I will try to go back to Borkad's vision. Uh, your, your your vision coalesces uh, into Borkad's brain. And you see this kind of like whip around and you see you and on Ront's lap. Um, and Ront kind of has his head, his chin on your shoulder while you're kind of facing out. He's got his arms wrapped around you. You can feel it. It's just this v- weird sensation where you're seeing what's happening from a completely different position where you're feeling it. Huh. Ideas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, let's go. Let's try it. Oh. Actually, he's on your shoulder. Yeah. You have this weird sensation as as there's like this slight up and down movement as you go down the hall. Uh, I would like like Roderick and Little Borgad to make perception. I am stealthing. You said perception? Mm-hmm. Uh... Duh. Hey! It's my first time rolling for familiar. <laughs> Ever. Alright, um... Yeah, just uh, it looks like it's a square room with uh, some wet wa- walls. Oh no, my first character was a ranger and he had a wolf. Oh, I don't know. And I need you to stop right there. Okay. Actually, back up. Oh. Thank you. Uh, you, uh, as you're walking towards the, uh, the other exit of this chamber, a mass of a, a liquid mass comes shooting out, trying to hit you, but you easily dodge out of the way. And I need you to. Oh, all right. Does, does Borkat? Roll initiative? No, because he would be on your initiative and uh, take his turn immediately after after you and can't really do much anyway. Here we go. Oh, no. All right. So you see this this pseudopod uh, shoot out and you realize that what you thought was just uh, some weird, like, gunky water that was stuck to the wall, uh, it it actually moves 
or this oozy pseudopod had whipped out to you and is just kind of reeling back into the wall. And, and there seems to be an actual portion and it just kind of moves a little. Yay. So, and it has some fun here. Bonus action. Mm -hmm. Summon arms of the astral self. Sure. So I need a deck saving throw. Twelve. It misses. It fails. fails. So it takes six force. And then, punch, punch. That's definitely gonna hit. You see, you, you essentially punch into the wall where it is, and it seems to. Seem to actually be hitting a, a gelatinous mess that's right on the wall. You see this like a bunch of like oozy gelatinous muck comes like pouring off the thing that just attacked you. Move back one and punch it again. Thirteen hit. Yep. Eleven. And you and with a pop, it went pop pop, and it literally popped. <laughs> this just gooey ooze just uh, splatters and falls off the wall. All right. Well, my arms stay out for ten minutes. So. Um. 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 I I can cast spells through Borcat. Yes. Yeah, you do. I have range of touch. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cast guidance on Roderick. Yes. That lasts for a minute, so your next skill check. Yeah. yeah. It's not very helpful, but you know, hey. it's helpful. You never know. It could come in handy. Yeah, it could. Yeah. Um, I loot the ooze. This gonna hang. Nope. Just the news. You never know. Oh my God! Um, uh, I learned so much about what my character can do today. So, poor cat is gonna make you invisible. You're invisible. I have invisibility. Yeah, but poor cat's not. Fuck! Damn it! I forgot what? about that. Oh, we're, it turned me invisible, which will help. This, Never mind. Uh, but Borcat was still like the flip. <laughs> <laughs> so disregard that. You have guidance, though. Yeah. That's a uh, built uh, D four. Uh, or was that again? Yeah, it's D four on your next skill check within the next minute. Yeah. All right. As you move down to the tunnel. Uh, you do see a uh, what looks to be the skeletal remains of uh, some creature. You would have to take a closer look. Uh, and a dark metal mace and a scattering of coins. Um, they appear to be hovering above the stone. I like to investigate. Sure. So every minute, 
Gorkhead is just gonna be giving you guidance. Oh fuck! <laughs> you just you just feel this whack of a tail like on the back of your neck. It does. It's not hurting or anything. It's just like a touch. That's sad. Uh, you can't really tell, but you do hear inside your head. Hello. Uh, who, who are you? Ow. I'm Roderick. Oh, hi, Roderick. I'm Glabagool. That's an interesting name. Yes, you seem to be a very interesting creature. And then all of a sudden, the uh, those coins and mace and, and bones moves closer to you. Just, just a little bit. Like, how far away is it? Uh, probably about ten feet. I reach out with my astral arms. I have a ten feet range. Okay. <laughs> and... You, they actually run into something, well, a little before they hit, hit any of the objects. This is why we keep the astral arms. Oh, oh, uh, yep, that's me. I, can you not see me very well? I suppose I am well, kind I... of transparent. Aren't you a, an interesting creature? You almost seem somewhat similar, except... You actually have the, the power of speech. So there's something, a, a pile of goo that I just had to take care of. Well, you're not hearing them. You're hearing them in your head. I don't know. I'm still talking out loud, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, this has been a recent development. Oh. It was probably oh. after I got the... Got these... What's inside me, and it just kind of wiggles a little. It has no way to really express itself. <laughs> well, it's nice. It, it, this is a pleasure to be talking to you, uh, Goblin de Goo. Guys, where do you come from? I'm saying out this loud because so then, uh, Borcat can hear it, <laughs> and in turn, Lasser. Bor Borcat just looks at you. <laughs> And Lasser, it's it's you're seeing the cube, and then you hear Roderick talking next to you. Then all of a sudden, uh, it just kind of like whip, the vision whips over to, to Roderick, and Roderick just sees this and just goes. Um, before you, like I'm hearing here, before you point to your head, I I say out loud in my area. Uh, mm -hmm. Roger's going crazy. We might need to go get him soon. Oh, wait. The, the, okay. the, like, the, he's talking in his head. The, the, your vision turns back uh, back to the cube. And then all of a sudden it, it like moves down off of a Roderick's shoulder and comes up and starts sniffing at the cube. It says, oh, what is that thing? Hey, oh, just, oh, that's just a friend of mine, Borcat. And then, and then, Lasser, you hear, Hello, Borkad. What the fuck? <laughs> do you have friends? We what do. What are I'm you doing kinda, down here? Yeah, we, oh, we kind of got a little cave-in going on back there. And um, so I'm kind of doing a little scouting for my friends while they all make sure everyone's okay. Oh, oh. I may need to get out of your way then. An interesting You're coming reason. through here, I would assume. Yes, yes, we will be coming. I will be coming through here. And just kind of over to the side. Actually, it kind of goes into. This. There's, a, I would say that there's enough room to kind of pass, and he kind of squishes himself against the wall. Well, then I can also just, like, go on the wall. <laughs> well, you can. Yeah. We'll try to make room. Maybe there's another room that I can go to. It might take me a while. I'm not a very fast mover. Beware, there are other... There are oozes throughout here. 
I appreciate the forewarning. Again, it was a pleasure to meet you, Kabutiku. And I hope you make it out safely. I mean, I would love to join you, but I am pretty slow. I understand. <clears throat> that's an, it, I have to say, that's an interesting mace inside you. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't remember where I got this from. That was before I... Well, the game's smarter? Yeah. Yeah. And you see the mace kind of like... Starts moving forward. <laughs> and it kind of flops down on the ground next to him. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll pick up the mace. How big is the mace? It's a mace. Well, what type of mace is it? Like, is it just a regular boom it's just, mace? Or is it, like it, a... it, it just kind of looks like a, a standard mace, but uh, there's... Um, there are a few spikes on, on the head of the maze, maze, and there are some, like, green flames uh, on the handle. Ooh, like like a, not actual flames, but Flame, like painted but like flames. Decals. Yeah. That was interesting. I, I appreciate that. I'll go ahead and take the maze off and attach it to the empty th uh, frog on my uh, belt. Mm hmm Ah, there he is. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's all good. That's okay. Roderick's scouting for us. Oh, okay. Awesome. So far, um, uh, Laster has learned that he can actually use his familiar. Oh, oh nice. He can see actually see through its eyes. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Little Boar Cat has uh, got a uh, personality, which can be kind of disorienting for Lassiter. Oh. Versus Cyrus, business like owl. Lasseter and his player learned. <laughs> they both learned at the same time. Lasseter learned what his character can do. Um, so how it's happening is Borcat is with me. His familiar is with me right now, and Lasseter is sitting on the ground, kind of, um, verbally telling you everything that's going on right now. That way, we don't have to have everyone here, but everyone knows what's going on and stuff. Plus, oh. I'm great at stealthing and then whatnot. Lassiter is currently uh, uh, sitting in Ront's lap. Oh. And Ront has his arms wrapped around him and his head on his shoulder. We're just while sitting. He, he's, while his eyes, his vision is and senses are currently in uh, uh, Little Borcad. Uh, Lasser, you can feel things, but you can't see or hear. You're basically blind and deafened. Um, all, all your senses are over in Little Borkad. Little Borkad was also, like, teaching his master? <laughs> it's a question mark there. Yeah. Master? Uh, that he could do it by, like, I don't know if I could do that. And then all of a sudden his vision and senses go into Little Borkad. <laughs> But he, he, he figured it out and he yanked it back. That's so a good time. He got Little it shit. <laughs> well. This is what happens when when uh, uh, the, the, the player says, says, hey, can you make my choice for this? And I make it for him. <laughs> Roger, I, yeah. I play Little, <laughs> little Bork Ad, not you. <laughs> All right, good sir. Thank you again, and I will thank you again for the mace and everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head out. Um, Little Bar Cat looks at the uh, looks at the mace and kind of tilts his head, head, and he he uh, squawks at you. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna have um, Syra look at this, and everyone like like one of the um, magical people um, look at this when we get back. I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm just going to hold on to it. But you never know. It could be something nice. Okay. 
but he sticks a, he, he sticks back on his sh shoulder kind of he's, he's he's gotten distracted by the maze he's, he's, he seems to be curious about it yeah i am too and we haven't gone that far yet to check things out so i, I kind of want to just keep going a little bit or do you think we should turn back <laughs> How about this? One rat to keep going, two rat to, to turn back. I don't know what it means otherwise. He tilts his head and kind of shrugs. You are not being helpful right now, poor cat. But you're still adorable, I'll just try to just chin. He thumps his foot again. He kind of wraps himself around your shoulders. Alright, so we're, we're just going to keep going for at least a little bit longer. He taps you as he, he receives the, the guidance spell from Lassiter. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a perception check. Uh, did, you, did you want one for... I'm not even sure why I'm rolling this. Uh, having seen one before, you do notice that there is another ooze on the far wall of this room. You now that you kind of have, it's it's hard to see. Like, uh, it's it's hard to see it, but since you kind of know what you are looking for, like, was there any more of these? You've seen, um, you're like, oh, that wetness is a little more yeah. thick for lack of a better word thick, thick. Oh. um so being that up front and everything so i'm going to go ahead and like rush it and take care of it and like okay. rush up here and just okay i didn't roll an attack Take its heart attacks. out. Take its core out? I don't know. I don't know what these things have. Um, it just needs to splat it. <laughs> One, two, just like... Um, it is does not to seem have popped as satisfying as the last one. Yeah, they kind of felt like it didn't connect right, quite well as... Uh, Sudprod uh, shoots out from you, uh, uh, out at you in retaliation. <laughs> it's still there. Are you going to do anything on your turn? It's your turn. Pop. Pop. Okay. Pop. All right. Now, and bitch. you pop that one. <laughs> it's just. It is. It is. Six it seconds. Is. That's all I need. Six seconds. <laughs> Thoroughly popped. Let's solo this place. All right, that. I I feel like. Oh shit! What the hell is just happening off the map? Okay. This way. Yeah. My hand slipped on my keyboard. Is it? Eh. All right, I kind of feel like I should go back and all. So I'll start. Like this was a good good amount of exploring up ahead. Oh, get back oh, so shit. soon? Yeah, I just did a little exploring. Like I, I need to get back to my group and all. I know it's only been like a minute, but I feel like things they need to check things out and we all come as a group by the way you're semi-breathing right now in order to use your vocal cords yeah but since you're not actually using the oxygen i'm gonna take it as if you weren't breathing <laughs> the air went in didn't do anything in your body <laughs> it was just you <laughs> for, for for speaking Vampires, so weird. <laughs> All right, I'm um, adept at exploring, 
So the cleared out some oozes. There's another ooze out there that actually is pretty friendly. Not hard. His name is Gobbledygook. He seems semi-intelligent. And then, uh, um... Thyra, I need you to do something for me. If you can. Well, what's Hopefully that? you can. One of the things that was inside Gobbledygook was this mace. And it seemed pretty interesting, and even, um... Borcat seemed interested in that as well. And I was wondering if you could, like... If you're able to, like, identify? Like, tell what it is? Uh, yeah, she she does have identify. Okay. Uh... I remember taking that, and then all of a sudden... While we're looting, we found a pearl. <laughs> Um, it, it uses... It was, she had one as part of her stuff. Remember, you got all your stuff at the beginning. At first, she didn't have that, because she took it... Oh, she took right. it... Yeah, and oh, while we were... She found it... Me. During the beach episode, she found a pearl. It was no, perfect. It... <laughs> <laughs> like, we found it beforehand, because it was in a cave, like, in a loot thing, cave. <laughs> You're just like, you found a pearl. <laughs> There's a pearl. As, as a... Ritual, um, yeah, mm -hmm. 10 minutes. So, as uh, so, you go to hand it to her, and she looks at it and then kind of like has this slight, like, Ooh. and then she she casts press digitation on it, and you see as gelatinous acid gets uh, uh removed from, <laughs> from the weapon, and now it's pristine. She takes it and she Pulls out the pearl she needs. Needs speaks a, a few words. Her eyes flash with arcane energy, and she says, "Oh, this is a green fire mace." He says, oh, "It takes some time to get attuned to it, but but once you're attuned, you can light it up like a torch." That's interesting. Otherwise, it's pretty much a standard mace, uh, and the fire will lit. It can do damage, but it doesn't. It's not like really powerful. This does like one point of damage, a little bit. Um, uh, when when something is cast as a ritual, does that use a spell slot? No. It, ah, it takes it, it takes it takes whatever the normal action is plus ten minutes. Okay, <laughs> I know. I know. In in some uh, uh, ten minutes and six seconds. Because <laughs> it's one action plus ten minutes. Uh, can I try to take my vision back or whatever? Yeah, you get your vision back, and then all of a sudden, Orcad's like looking around. Yeah. He just get, he kind of looks at you, Roderick, and and kind of looks like a little like. Huh. Uh, can, can I understand what that emotion was? He's disappointed. Oh. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> it seemed like he, he must have liked having your vision and hearing. <laughs> uh, well, uh, if you'd like, we can do it more often now that I know about it. He's like, eh. make up your mind, man. <laughs> uh, you you intuit that he he liked. Having your hearing and vision because of what he could do to mess with you. <laughs> hmm. He's a bit of a prankster. Noted. Little shit is becoming your permanent name. Uh, yeah, uh, 
uh, can, can't I, um, um, what's it called? I just read this, uh, uh, find familiar, find familiar, uh, yada, 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 yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to put him in his pocket dimension. Okay. Does it happen? Nope. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, you, you feel like you're doing everything right. But for some reason, he, whether he's resisting or something, he just won't go away. I imagine there's a smile on his face. <laughs> he's just looking at you like, what are you trying to do? <laughs> I, I I guess I read it wrong. I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> no, you did. It's just this familiar. No, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, out of curiosity, I would like to just look down this hall before we go anywhere, if, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, yeah, I kind of, I, I kind of don't want to go alone. Um, you know, I get a bit lonely sometimes. Oh, fine, I'll go with you. Well, thank Inside you. <laughs> you know, um, so that so that's sitting on her shoulder, very respectively. It's the kind of familiar that I need. Look over to you, little shit. How 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 is your familiar a little different? It doesn't seem very tame. Um, I don't know. One day he appeared, as you know, and he does not leave me alone. Now, why don't you dismiss him? Oh, uh, like this, and she snaps her fingers, and so it disappears. Yeah, I I tried that. I I snapped my fingers multiple times. I mean, it's snap my fingers is just how I do it. it, it it's just in that, a reflex action. You don't have to actually do that. It won't, well, it won't go away. Like, well, you can't well, dismiss it. I just do, 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 do. <laughs> do a whole bunch of different actions. It's like, well, it's not a... It's really more of a mental command. I just like doing a, a specific action to... As a, part of it is not actually part of the the ability she snaps her fingers again and Sova appears again but this time Sova appears on Roderick's shoulder Sova looks over at Roderick Ooh. <laughs> and Lynn looks at Syra alright come back and then he goes <laughs> flies over to, to Syra and lands on his shoulder I'll think really hard about him not being here. Nothing. A little pseudo dragon jumps onto your shoulder and looks at you. And goes, I'll look at Syra, uh, with a. Be right back, can I go to the bathroom? Where? Yeah, this is my life. Like, where did you? I don't remember any time. Uh, I don't remember you. Uh, casting the fine familiar spell, which I'm assuming is how you would re retrieve this familiar. Literally woke up, and there he is. Hmm. Won't go away. Are you a cleric? Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Cleric of Bahamut. Ba is you, it you... Bahamut or Bahamut? Bahamut. Bahamut. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Then, Can you say say his name was Little Borcad? Yes, that is what he, um, the name that appeared in my head. But I have been um, calling him Little Shit now. So as you can see, he's a little shit. 
Borkat, Borkat. Borkat is one of the sil one of the seven gold dragon guardians of Bahamut. Usually when he's on the material plane, plane or at least an avatar of him, he's disguised as an old man named Fizbin. And he usually is surrounded by a group of seven canaries. These are just seven gold dragons, uh, ancient worms, um, that are his servants. One of them is named Borcad. Leave his city. So did Justice. I can't recall the specifics in regards to it. Well, I so, doubt. So is it like are you familiar with a with a Borcad? Uh, I believe, from what I remember, the Borcad when he's on his own usually is a dwarf. Uh. I know of a few dwarves. Um, I wouldn't say I know of any godly dwarves or anything. So if you're a cleric, because clerics don't usually have familiars, do you have any other arcane connections? Like, do you have a patron? Not that I know of. Do, am I aware that I should not have... Uh, some of you these. do remember that you've been that there that there has been a dwarf which uh, once helped you uh, get back home, said something about uh, helping you out, and then just recently, while you were in the Underdark, you had a dream of a dwarf that said, "I'll help you out," and that's when you woke up with the amulet. Ah, okay. So I am aware of that stuff. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I uh. I met this one dwarf. Uh, I don't think you ever got his name. No, I don't think so. Um, help me on. Um, and the other day I had a dream about him. And that was it. Oh, uh, actually, that was the day that I woke up with little Borkhead. Coincidence? Well that will explain some things. It seems you must have patron. I mean, you do shoot Edward's blast. It seems warlocky. Uh, so, it looks like in addition to your clerical abilities that you get from Bahamut, you also have a patron of one of his servants. And oh. apparently, the personality of this patron must be... Well... Bitty. Pranksterish. It's probably forcing that familiar on you. And that would explain some things. I mentally think about it going away again. You look around and it's been harder this little time. Borkhead, little Borkhead disappears from your vision. Like you, you think he looks. He he had moved off. You don't feel him on your shoulder anymore. You can look around and you don't see him anymore. Oh, awesome. That worked. You hear a giggle from the other room. Uh, well, it's 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 a more like a hoot giggle because it sounds like stool's laughter. Uh, uh, um, stool, are you okay? <laughs> hey, hey, you, you see stool come around. Come around the cor uh, corner, and on his head is Little Borkhead. I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Little Borkhead looks up at you and rolls his eyes again. <laughs> he looks over at Ron and goes, <laughs> and He says, <laughs> Ron looks at Little Borkhead and goes, He kind of like waves his hand, like, come here. And uh, the little boar cat jumps over and kind of climbs up front, curls up on his shoulders. I nice saw everyone else. Uh, whatever. Uh, want to go check this hall now? Uh, lead the way. 
Roderick, um, I mean, you can come with us if you want. Um, I mean, you already checked it, but I don't know. I just want to check it myself. You're muted. Are, are, are we all going? We can. We can make it a group effort. I feel like that's something we should do, is just go ahead and all of us go. Alright. It's been about uh, 20 or 30 minutes so far since the... Well, probably more like about an hour since the cave collapsed. Uh, Stool, will you let everyone know that uh, we're going up ahead? Hey, he nods his head. And comes over and you see a burst of spores. And everybody goes, well. <laughs> they, they they know what it is. It just surprised them. <laughs> and leave you here in your head, here in the head, in your head, uh, uh, stools, telepathic voice, uh, through his rapport fours, um, and say, say, Lasser, Roderick, uh, Holly, and, and, and Syra are going to explore the caves. Oh, okay. Would you like to join us? If you'd like to join them, apparently they're inviting you to. I will join them. We'll move up to them. Okay. So, PC party. Gage, Gage stands back and says, I will be here to protect everyone else. Thank you. In other words, I am not. It helps me avoid playing another PC. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's go. I'll I'll take point. Uh, I think you wanted to go the other direction. Hey. Uh, the direction where I said it was a dead end. Yes. Just curious. I just want to look All at right. it. All you know, right. This oh. way. Open spaces. All right, are... everybody, open, roll me a perception check. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? It was almost a sixteen. Blah. And Syra, you want me to roll one for Syra? Did I mind roll? Yeah. 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 We we got uh, three of them accidentally. Oops, sorry. Yeah. It's all good. Okay. As you get to the end of the uh, corridor, uh, after having been t uh, told uh, about the uh, gray oozes, Roderick does you guys do notice that there's one down at the end of the hall. Oh. Uh oh, I remember these things. Um Roderick, you've you've made quick work of these things. Why don't you just go ahead and splash it a little? I help. Go right here. Summon my arms. Make a dex. Yep. Meet 15. It. And then. It. And F it. Flurry of blows. Okay. Can you flurry of blows? Because didn't you take a... Oh, no. I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I forgot. So. Alright. It attempts to whack you. 
Yeah, which I'm spin. guessing he doesn't. These guys are not good at attacking. I, I suppose <laughs> they're stuck in the wall. It's very instinctual, and so they're probably not really like. Great. Uh. <laughs> It'll be your turn again. And it goes splat. It goes really goes splat. <laughs> you do damage to the wall behind it. All right, oh, we clear. Okay. Um, it is. Emptiness. Emptiness. Uh, investigation. It is definitely a dead end. Cool. Sure, if you want to investigate it, you're very welcome to. I'm not in my stop you. In my experience, uh, these dead ends. dead ends are usually not dead ends. It's a dead end. <laughs> Guys, you will not believe this. This is dead actual end. Dead end. Wow, it's like I said it was like before. Shocker. Sorry, sorry. And he said that like monotone. Sorry, we'll be human. We'll human you and try an investigation. Yeah, this is definitely a dead end. Thanks for confirming our suspicions, Sarah. Jesus, th didn't you hear us before? It's a dead end. Look, I thought it was a dead end to begin with, and yet you started searching, so I thought I'd help alleviate your concerns. Oh, uh, we're, we're gonna go up ahead, so we're not wasting any time. Alright, we're gonna keep going this way. Really? The way that we should have gone to begin with... Blaster. Yes, Sarah. I'm looking at you, Lassiter. Hey, gobbledygook. <laughs> uh, you're running around the corner and you see little Borkad standing there. Oh, uh, for he the sake of... Uh, Roderick's shoulder. For the sake of convenience, I'm just gonna leave Sarah down here for now. Yeah. Well, I need Same with uh, Haley. Holly. 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 We have come back through to continue on our oh, way. Oh, you're back. Oh, who's our new friend here? This is a... Uh, uh, We've uh, already acquaintance. met. Oh, wait. No. no. This is an acquaintance, uh, Lassiter. Lassiter. Uh, hello, and um, uh, I instinctually uh, put out my hand, but I remember it has no arms. Oh, be careful. If, if, you, if you touch me, you might get burned. I am a bit acidic. Explains why you're alone down here. Well, Not I was way. here before. I, I, there wasn't any way out. And, well, instinctually, I did not choose to go out. But if you find a way out, I would love to come with. But I am a little bit slow, so you would have to slow down, but... Uh, Leaf, are you with us? Yes. Where are we over to? Where am I? You see a uh, gelatinous cube. Uh, and you hear, hear in your head, and your name, sir. My name is Leaf. <laughs> well, welcome to this place. I'm not even sure if it has a name. There are, there are several chambers. Be careful of the other oozes. Uh, mm. We've been making short work of them so far. Do you know anything about this place other than then it's dark and there's caves and stuff? No, I only recently gained my intelligence, so I didn't. Really, I don't really remember anything before that. Oh. I mean, there's a corridor that goes around. There's a, which leads to four corridors. Which leads to the same place, and then there's a... Yeah, that's what I remember. 
And I came around this way looking for possibly a way out. I would love to explore the world, but alas. Okay. I'm not sure well, how people would really think of me being such a large. And you, you see, like, the, the point of the cube like kind of bend down just a little bit as if it's like the head kind of like looking at itself trying to examine itself oh i bet you would find a place where you fit right in everyone has one of those places uh, um well, let me follow up well, after you we'll let you know if you find a way out that is we will let you know I appreciate it, good sir. Continue forward. Squeeze on through you. Not through you, but... Around you. Right around. Oh. I just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, moved, I moved you along with everybody. Oh, okay. So, Thank so you. you can see because uh, of uh, vision... Somebody goes around the corner and you have no idea where they are. <laughs> um. Uh. But we're also assuming that, that he, uh, Holly and, uh, uh. Syrah are with us. Uh, and Syrah are with you, so. Yeah. Just for simplicity's sake. Let me a perception check. This is a very long corridor. Not, not, not. Funny one. Yep, it's a very long corridor. Wow, my rolls are shit. It is totally a very long corridor. Oh. Oof. Oof. Holly only sees what the lights gives her, and so far she sees an empty corridor. Syrah sees an empty corridor. <laughs> Let's continue. Why did I have you roll in it uh, for subject check? Because it's why not? funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not? Uh, let's continue down this empty corridor. I would say let's check for traps, but mm. Laughter wouldn't really have a reason to check for traps. I mean, He's not I'm used to this. Asking to check for traps, so I'm not telling you if there's any traps or me. <laughs> Logic wouldn't think to check for traps. Laughter wouldn't either. <laughs> this looks all right. We got some splitting off. Chambers uh, on your uh, uh, left on the map. This is divided into four hallways and floored with heavy flagstones. The walls carved with worn and faded bus reefs. Or reliefs. Or bus reliefs. Uh... I, I know you don't, I know you have a problem with um, splitting up, but there are five. Uh, well, my thought was, zoomy zoomy boy, try to see if you can run through these hallways quick. <laughs> okay, well, uh, if you want, you can take four I can use, I can go 165 feet a turn. Ooh, uh, I just learned that I could do something. Um, hmm. uh, I, I will, um, touch Roderick on the chest, because why not? Uh, and weird. you're invisible. Uh, you are now invisible. I'm going to movement, uh, and then... Action dash. 
Okay. Right now. They're getting dashed down the hallway. Yeah. All right. Um. Uh, Make a dexterity saving throw, please. No problem. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make that. Yeah. So, you, as you step on this place, uh, the floor beneath you breaks, but you were able to grab onto the ledge. And then I need an athletic check, which is probably. With your wisdom. Yeah. Yep. And you're able to scramble out. <laughs> uh, you do notice uh, something moving below you. Quickly hop on the walls and just start walking the walls. Okay. You are on the walls. I'm assuming you're on the left wall. Or are you on the right wall? Um, we right here, and then jump over to this one. Yeah. I see that this goes back to the main hallway. Mm -hmm. Uh, go, roll me a perception check. Uh, you do notice that right here, the floor seems to have weakened. Oh, oh, oh. Can't do that. Alright. All right. Back down this way. Wall right here. I'm going to say that. That, I'm just going to carry over your other perception check. This tile here has is weakened. The floor hasn't actually collapsed through, but it doesn't seem to be in good condition. This yes. one's the same. And then... What do I see right here? Is like a door? Uh, you see a doorway. And then come all the way back. Using walls. Yes. How how long was I standing here? Probably about five minutes. Not too long. Alright, I'm you back. You did hear you did did hear her go <laughs> and uh, maybe uh whoop. And then maybe some sounds of uh, scrambling out. Actually, you probably didn't scramble out. I probably didn't need you to have an athletic check. You would have just put your feet against the wall and walked up. <laughs> That's it. Grab the wall. Dampiers, bitches. <laughs> Dampier monks, bitches. They are the shit. Yeah, who, who, who needs their slow fall? <laughs> just walk down the walls. Are you still stealth? Uh, I well, when oh, I got to he back never out said he here, was uh, yeah, well, I was invisible. Oh yeah, you're invisible. But when I got to like back out here, I said, "All right, I'm back." Ah, so you can drop invisibility. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I would know that I could drop it. Okay. Um, so it says, you know, that's an arcane ability, invisibility, right? Very few clerics get it, are able to cast that. You are definitely a warlock. I am a cleric of bomb. Thank you. I guess, and apparently from the evidence, your, your, your oh, patron no, is one of the servants. Wrong. It's all connected. Uh, whatever you want to think, uh, but there's nothing special about me. Just a normal cleric of Bahamut. 
No, I never said there was anything special. I'm just saying. Oh. One of his oh. servants took interest in you. My heart. <laughs> never a bad thing. If Whatever they, reason, they... I don't know, but apparently he likes to play with you if you gave you a little Borkad. Little Borkad is current, uh, 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 is for some reason on, uh, Syrah's other shoulder, and she just realized it. Oh. But it's off and jumps over to your shoulder. Borkat was? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sova was, was on her other shoulder, and he just kind of, like, <laughs> climbed up on... <laughs> landed on her, on her shoulder. He could fly. So, all these doorways kind of, like, connect within one another and everything and um what i'm gonna do is cast exposition <laughs> yes the the greatest uh cantrip in D, &D. we need oh, more like we need more relatively useless cantrips <laughs> i wouldn't call exposit exposition a um useless cantrip it's true. Um, but uh, j just in case something was like I don't know, isn't remembered. Was there anything like important or? <laughs> well, each of these hallways, they're like the wall. The floors are kind of weakened. Where this one fell through, and then there's a door right here that I didn't do nothing with yet. Oh. Doors are interesting. In they are. Moment, interesting. He'll, as part of his exposition, he probably would have exposited that there was something moving at the bottom of the pits that were underneath that weakened floor. You didn't say you look. Uh, you'd look. You just kind of like no. noticed it out of the corner of your eyes. Yeah. I know what it might have been. Might have been. But... You want to check the door out? Maybe it's a way out. I can. Duff in it. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Watch out, um, I'm not sure how, if y'all wanna go, if y'all go this, through this way, be careful right about here, cause that's where the, um, weekend, weekend area is. They all, these two connect to each other on the other end. Um, I'm easy, I'm able to go the other way, just cause I can walk on walls. So. I'm blind, so. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're not with everybody. Yeah, I'm a little. I'm lost. Yeah. Please, uh, the if, if you if you go up to more of the top of the map, where you guys are now, I moved you on over to everybody. Tell me where you see the red circle. Do -do -do -do. Yes, I can see the red circle, if that's what you were asking. Yeah, feel, yes. feel free to move, zoom out if you need. That's not that big. So y'all going to go this way, being mindful <laughs> of the floor. Um, and I'm going to go this way, because I can walk on walls. <laughs> okay. Sounds you, like a you plan. Could, you would be, be able to remember that there's just like a five-foot gap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, Lassner, go ahead and give me a perception check. I'm also going to look down in the hole. Alright, give me a perception check, too. Just me, or... Everyone? The guy, right. dice giveth and dice taketh away. Uh, Lassner, you notice that uh, this tile here is weakened, so that must be what Roderick was referring to. Okay, so let's step on this one and just like try to yeah, jump just... over. Yeah, you can just jump over. It's only five feet. You can do it. Oh. Just go. Monday, Monday. Yeah, Roderick, you can't see. It seems uh, everything seems to be dark down there. Yeah. So, must not be anything since you have dark vision. Yeah. Leaf, are you going to go down one of the other tunnels, or which tunnel are you going to go to? Or are you just going to wait right there? 
I'm gonna keep watch because I can't for some reason I can't move. <laughs> so I'll keep watch. Okay. Right, Roderick, cool. Laster, and Little Borgad go down a hall. See a door. I try to open the door. Okay. Uh, it's a heavy stone door. You push on it. Uh, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you can easily push it, uh, push it open. So for some reason, it. Uh, wait. Yeah, you can walk right through. Because I don't restrict movement. You see, this room contains a stone fountain with a raised edge. The basin contains shallow, shallow brackish water. At the center of the pool, the rubble of a broken statue rests atop a pedestal. All that remains recognizable are a pair of clawed stone feet clutching the pedestals up. Carved into the walls are seven niches. Water seeps into one niche through a crack in the wall. Two niches that flank it are empty. And large, formless sculptures occupy the four remaining. Is this a well? Yeah. Well, uh, a do you notice in some of the uh, some of the niches that are surrounding it? Uh, you do notice some familiar gelatinous mucus ooze. <laughs> Uh, do we want to... Mainly because they're really bad at, at hiding and they seem to be moving to get in a better, better position to uh, target Laster, I suppose. Right there. Nice. <laughs> mainly because they, I rolled their stealth check and they rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I rolled the wrong. He rolled it two or three. Hmm. A little bit better, but still not good. Uh, uh, can I move out the way? I would definitely say that this this actually would be okay. Uh, initiative, and I'll just assume that that Holly uh. Had, uh, Not 20. Came with. had easily jumped over. Go, Ollie. <laughs> he actually followed you, Roderick. <laughs> oh, I almost had a nat 20, too. <laughs> All right. Ollie. With their lit axe in the own cyrus. Oh, say what? Maybe again. Oh, one creature. So we're gonna Yeah. Come right here. And we're gonna rage. Uh Targeting. Almost bursts out of Holly, uh, yeah, Holly's hair as she uh, enters into a rage. Uh, targeting this one for the deck save. Her hair turns purple. Wait, deck save. Nope, that's a failure. Alright, so 1d6 lightning. Whopping two. two. And then she's going to take her lit axe and attack the same one. Right. That's definitely going to hit. And attack number two. That should hit. Right. Oh, so um, one? plus four. Let's oh no, they, they, it, never, never mind, never mind. I see it did the rage damage. Yep. Okay, so she does a nice chop at at the uh, ooze. 
and then does some damage. And then the next one she hits doesn't seem to do as much damage, although it does kill it. It doesn't do as much, but it does enough. She looks at she do, looks at her weapon, and she can see some acid that's corroding in the middle. Lasser. Good. Um. Crap. Uh. Um. I'll just blast this one. All right. Go to roll the hit with disadvantage. Crap, I forgot. It's not just the ones that are five feet. Mm -hmm. Can I do Sacred Flame instead? Sure. Please um, flame it. Yeah, but instead I'll do the one that's right next to me. Okay. So you Sacred Flame the one. What's the DC? 15, I think. Okay. Uh, it, it fails. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Uh, oop. Twelve. Um, actually, it. Let's see. No, it's radiant damage. Okay. Hey, radiant energy bursts from the ground. Uh, it doesn't move because it is, it's not very dexterous. That is. My turn, I believe. Roderick. Roderick. Zoomy, zoomy. Summon army, armies. Arm summon. Save. That's failure. <laughs> Fails. Nice thing about these these creatures. Not very dexterous. <laughs> Only four. And punchy, punchy. It's hey. a hit. Mm -hmm. and that's a hit. And it is dead. <laughs> it goes by. He move right here. Anything else? Movement action, bonus action. Okay. Right. See so Ooze's turn. Are you going to be attacked by a uh, pseudopod? 16 hit? I think so, yes. Gets flat by a uh, Uzi pseudopod taking 6 bludgeoning damage and 10 acid damage. <coughs> Are you wearing any non-magical armor? Metal armor? I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, yeah, just a chain shirt. Alright, so it's a chain shirt, which is made of metal. Uh, so your AC drops by one. Boys. Uh... Tyra. What the hell? Is it just... Oh, fuck! I'm sorry. Yeah, you're um, Syra. Today. <laughs> I was uh, doing things for with the AC. Um, Syra will come over here. Did she oh. see 
the um the metal my chain shirt uh corroding or whatever. Yes, we'd have seen that. Okay, so she's not gonna use her rapier. Uh could she get over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, belts, um, mind sliver? Sure. That is safe? Yes, intelligence 16. Fails. All damage. Uh, Target and let's just see the turn. <laughs> so take 36 second damage. I don't think it could have ever passed. Nope. With a negative 5 intelligence. Track 1d4. It could crate and it would still fail. <laughs> <laughs> there oozes. There is there's no intelligence. <laughs> they don't really have any intelligence. <laughs> you do know of a you do know of a uh, someone of what? whose family that does have some intelligence. These aren't one of them. Uh, the the you, you see the ooze convulse, and it must subtract one d four from the next saving throw it makes before the end of Cyrus' right. next turn. All right. That is her return. All right. Holly. Can I get a deck save from this one? I don't think it does it. <laughs> so four lightning. <laughs> it, it convulses and then just falls off the wall. And... And splats. Then we're going to move here. And swing twice. Oh no. Alright. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Plus oh. one. Alright. Uh, it further corrodes. So this is six damage. Let's <laughs> It is still alive. It has not popped. Lassiter. Um. If can I uh, use Eldritch Blast, even though there's a teammate in front of me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I shall do that. <laughs> you just kind of like look around <laughs> Holly and just like point your hand past her <laughs> shoot it at 20 ooh nice Old damage. let's go uh, just for fun how do you want to do this um so my shirt just started melting I'm not fully melted but uh hey Holly Haley Holly, Holly. uh just I comes up and me. splashes this thing and uh, just goes over and hits the other thing and I'm mad and out of frustration I just shoot the I'll just blast around Holly Haley Holly oh. um sorry um and goes everywhere. Oh, not everywhere, but ah, uh, if it splashes, it explodes what? and splashes uh, everywhere that you guys aren't for some miraculous reason. It really more splats against the wall than it does. Like, just it, it doesn't necessarily explode out. It kind of like goes splat. It kind of as if you threw a threw a paintball at a wall, and it just splats on the wall. That sort of thing. Nice. I mean, is is force? Bring your elders by. Yeah. Guys, watch out for the acid. Holly uh, uh, currently has a permanent negative 
three to damage on her axe. Does it go through clothing? Yeah, it's acid. You're all gonna be naked. Right. Well, I mean, if it does enough damage. <laughs> Plus negative three to, to damage, you said? Negative three to damage, yep. At first, I thought okay. it was Okay. Is there still acid on there? Uh, the ooze is pretty. The ooze's remains are still acidic. Yes. I meant a acid on the axe. No, it's a, the effect only happens once. So I would assume that it just goes and kind of evaporates. Because she would start wiping it off. Mm. If it was. So, um, I still have liquid acid or whatever on me. Um, I look at that and then look at. Syra, and then I look at my uh, armor again, then I remember I also have digitation, <laughs> whatever. Digitation. And I cast it on myself. And the acid has already evaporated, so it doesn't really do much. But it you do get cleaner. The, the remain... The current remainder of your chain shirt is uh, uh, much cleaner. It's very shiny. Yay. Learn something every day. Yeah, we you need oh. mending, I'm guessing, to tell, fix this. Tell me we did not come in here just to get acid into one. Oh, do you want to go ahead and roll me an investigation check? Yes. Everybody can investigate to see if there's any treasure. Um. Oh. Uh, um. Uh, L. Eat. Um. If if I do not find anything, I'm going to check again. Out of frustration. Okay, roll me a wisdom check. Or a wisdom save. Uh, disadvantage, please. Sixteen. When those mushrooms sound good right now. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it just sounds good. You don't just instinctively reach in and grab one, but... Your frustration's a little high. My armor's messed up. We're in a pretty much a hole. Uh, there's nothing in here. <laughs> Guys, we can get out of here. Roll, roll, roll a, a investigation from Syrah. Oh, yeah. Because she would definitely look around, I'm sure. Um, but investigation, not intimidation. There we go. So, hidden beneath the waters of the fountain, you find 112 silver pieces, three gold bracelets, Vrow dagger, I'll add all this to the art growing. It has a spider design. Uh, a uh, potion. Uh, and uh, another vial of something. Zyra says, uh, let's get up two, uh, two vials, I'll say. Um... So he says, let's see if we can find a way out of here before we before I check these to see if they're magical.
Otherwise, you don't really see a... Uh... Let's see a room. You do notice that your feet are covered in water now. You're actually walking around in a pool of water. Right. Um... This is really irritating. Uh, I'm leaving. Getting out. I've had enough. <laughs> Come on, Borkad. Or not. I don't care. Let's go. Wow. Borkad uh, flutters uh, quickly down the hall. This way. Gonna <clears throat> leap over. A matter of fact, um, I'm gonna make an uh, intelligence save. See if I remember that there's a weakened thing right there. Okay. I do not. I step on the weekend. Okay, roll me a deck save. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> okay. I you fall into the pit. Ah. <laughs> You're in that. And run into a uh, gigantic ooze type object. Oh, dear Jesus. Right. I blame myself. Uh, give me a second. I blame the pay player more than the. I said I blame myself. <laughs> and the character. I, I'm just saying. Uh, does 15 hate you? No, it does not. Oh, wait. No, it does, because my armor is fucked. Yeah, take a uh, another uh, one-point penalty on that, that armor. And... Summoning my arms. Oh, no, I still have them out. It's been less than 10 minutes. Take, take seven bludgeoning damage... And 11 acid. So a total of 18 damage. Oof. Alright. And then I think that would definitely be... Initiative. Uh, initiative. So let me reset the tracker. Here we are. As you are attacked by a black pudding. Black pudding? Yeah. Ew. Did you say pudding or putty? Pudding. Oh. <laughs> so all of you here. Ah! ah! <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm forgetting everything to. <clears throat> and siren um um honestly i do not know what sara would have done after i stormed out uh after finding everything she kind of was along the lines of thinking let's get out of here uh and so we and actually find a way out of this place because she knows you only have so much air. Okay. We can watch him here. Oh. Hey, how many people do we have in here? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh. 
Are we dead? It's getting hard to breathe. <laughs> we you mortals. Yeah. Well, except except for Roderick. Roderick doesn't really notice. <laughs> it's it's getting harder to speak because you don't have you know that you're still there. It's just oxygen. All right, Roderick. Uh, Lassiter uh, suddenly screamed uh, as he fell down down a hole. You notice. Uh, Roderick, that you didn't the the pudding cushioned your landing, <laughs> but you didn't take any falling damage. So I'll go here. How far down is are they? Uh, it is uh, it's just ten feet in ten feet deep. So so. Because, okay, so we're still within the 10 minutes of I use my last arms. Some of my last arms. Um, so just gonna like look over mm -hmm. and just start wailing on. Okay. Like, nope. Give them back. Give them back. The 17 hit? Yeah, uh, 17 does hit. Does hit. Uh, type number two. Ooh, natural 20. Alright. What's that total? Uh, For that one round... 8... 18... 24. Force damage. As my dragon claw arms just into it. Alright. Go uh, I just kind of it's almost like kneading some dough. Then But it seems uh, that it is taking care of things. I'm going to flurry of blows. Okay. Does a 15 hit? Yep. Strangely enough, this thing's not that hard to hit. And with that last one... Because mm -hmm. I can do it for the first time. Why not? Stunning strike. What's the save? Uh, 15. Of... Uh, Con. Con? It says... Oh, bitch. That's my turn. <clears throat> that, right. was a, that was a good round. That was a good round. <laughs> Holly. Um, Holly. All right, so 40 feet of movement. And 20. Did just, just saying that Lasser is really right here. Thirty. You see, it, it, she sees a gold silver dragon looking over the edge of a pit. <laughs> I'm gonna jump down, and as jumping down, seize the target. I'm gonna use um bonus the bonus action to have a deck save. Uh, fifteen. Um, all right, take, uh, that meat that beats it, so it only takes half. Okay. Three. Six lightning damage. Doesn't really seem to do anything. It's just three lightning damage. Yeah. No, no, it just scattered over the surface. And then, seeing what happened to her axe last time, she's mm -hmm. just gonna take her fist. And it. just punch at it. Punch it. Gonna need the pudding. That'd be That'll hit. Seven. And that's probably not gonna hit. That hits. That hits. All right. I I will I will say this as an AC. Of seven. 
<laughs> Actually, so it's gonna be really hard to miss this. I was adjusting the health on the wrong thing. Anyways. Yeah, we're, we're right there. Okay. Still seems to be moving. Lassiter, you're currently prone. And prac practically enveloped by a possibly corrosive ooze. It is literally surrounding you. You're practically engulfed. You're not grappled or anything, so... Uh... Inflict wounds. Sure. Is that as a save? Or is that an attack roll? Just an attack. Yep. I was just thinking. Uh, oh, 13... Yeah. So uh, it takes a d12 because it's hurt. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. it's not upcast really? when it's hurt. Or is that, um. No, that, that's the wrong spell. Um, You're oh. thinking of, uh, Toll the Dead. Ah. Oh. Uh, 4d10. 26 damage. Necrotic damage. The the black ooze uh, it just kind of melts away and just kind of flattens out, but it's still kind of filling the chamber. Yeah, ten feet up. Um, go ahead and make an athletic check to climb up. Uh, I would right. say with advantage because Holly would be helping you. Right before that, after it explodes, uh, he he just yells a frustration yell pretty much he's tired of this and just wants to go home and drink <laughs> Dex thump, 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 thump. Thump, 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 thump. you hear uh, clamoring down the hall that's with uh, that's with advantage uh 19 is the deck save with advantage right <laughs> Well, it's not a deck save. It's an athletics check to climb oh. out of the pit. Lasser, Lasser, where's Lasser? Uh, Ront, uh, Ront with a stool uh, on his back, uh, trudges through the uh, foot of water. That's currently, uh, must be taking up the whole area. Uh, uh, watch your step. And... Are you okay? No. Oh, good. I don't want to lose a bitch this early. <clears throat> thump, 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 and everybody else comes down the hall. Your, your your party the the rest of your party uh arrives parties okay uh six uh four cat he's like it's your fault <laughs> he just got a right over the <laughs> the pit but the other side, where where Holly has dragged you up from, or uh, helped you up onto, because you're going that way anyways. All right, let's go. Jesus, this is a crowd. <laughs> I can't get past. Yeah, you can. Front lets you through. He's like trying to clean you off and. <laughs> It gets you over in the corner. Are you okay? Are you okay? No. Uh, I'm. I'm. Are you hurt? Any anything broken? I am definitely hurt. Um, I should probably heal myself. I don't know. Um. 
If we could take a rest, that would be nice. It is getting hard to breathe. Right. Uh, yeah, we need to go. It's not a good idea. It's, yeah. It is a little uh, tough to breathe in here. Is there any out? Hey, guys, down here. I'll cast Cure Wounds at first level on myself. Yep. As we all walk in. Oh, nice. So, as you're approaching the uh, rough wall cave uh, over this way, you hear uh, the sound of pouring water. Looks like there's water that's entering through cracks in the 10 foot high ceiling. Given the rate in which the water flows in, you would say you can easily conclude that the cracks are caused by uh, the tremor we experience. You experienced only a matter of time before the water floods the entire complex. Right, let's get out. Lead the way. Oh, wait. Is it's a... just a room where there's cracks in the ceiling and there's water rushing in. Oh. Uh, uh oh. It, can anyone, can we swim? <laughs> I can, can swim. swim. Yeah, how about you go ahead and, um, Go go down below and see if there's a way out. Uh, uh, you walk into the pool of water and you're just in about a foot and probably a quarter of water right now. Do I like? You walk around the room. There's no down. You're already on the bottom. I don't... You can't go any lower. No, it's not as far... Like, literally, I am, like, at the deepest part. <laughs> Are you sure you're just not a too thought comes to you. You look up at the cracks in the ceiling, and that's a lot of water coming through the ceiling. I wonder if we're underneath that lake. Oh. Sorry. Don't... Yeah. Um, I think we're, we're I like with all this water coming in and a constant source. I think we're underneath the lake <laughs> that we were just at last session, or beach session. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I think if we break through, we all have to make sure to, like, y'all have to make sure to hold your breath as best as you can, but you can break through and get to the lake. You don't have much breath left. Well, we gotta make a decision soon. Um, I start um, punching. Um, I just start trying to break through. Have, you walk uh, up the wall, get get to the ceiling, and start punching down. Start, yeah, just like um, start tearing away rocks as best as I can, trying to breach it. I'm like, and, everyone holds breath. And you don't want to prepare. <laughs> Mentally prepare. Every, everybody's people. watching you do this, and you're chipping chipping through. Punching at some of the crack cracks. Uh, and once you roll me a uh, roll me an attack roll. Actually, I'm just roll damage. Just roll damage of an attack. I, I think we should probably uh, have a. Uh, you a, see, another... everybody but Shushar uh, is current is currently like preparing to hold their breath. Eleven. So a total of eleven. A total of eleven. Crack. Uh, you're able to easily open or crack and it starts filling a lot faster. You could probably, a uh, few more attacks. Actually, I'll just 
narrate at this point. A few more attacks, you're able to open up a big enough uh, crevice that anybody could even swim swim through, including Ront with stool on his back. I was about to say, if no one's grabbed stool, like I'll go back and grab stool. And Shushar, actually, Shushar will take stool because he can breathe underwater. And it's like, go, go, go. Okay. Um, the water is rushing in. It is practically impossible for anybody to really fly up or, or, or swim up the current. Um, you would you would guess that as soon as the temple Place is full, falls. that it will calm down, that it would be a lot easier. Um so everybody's kind of like as things are getting getting higher uh, some of the shorter people are starting to tread the water you're all kind of gathered right near where the opening is so that as soon as as it comes down you can just kind of rush up shushar uh, is mentioning that he will stay behind and help guide people to go up um i'll take lead and uh, as soon as it hits the top, you see, you can see. Um, so Shushar gives you Roderick since you're first. You stool. Um, uh, uh, you see, just as it's about to to get to the, the max, you do see that uh, stool takes a quick breath, and the water calms. You can easily swim upwards and i would and we're i'm just going to narrate it because we're getting to the end of the show um each of you are able to easily go up uh leaf i'm assuming you might turn into a swimming creature so you don't have to worry about that turn into a fish he's a wild shape and everybody swims up and appears at a little outlet from the dark lake, um, which you have, n which you guys don't recognize. Um, it's pretty dark. There's like a couple of phosphorescent mushrooms to have at least a little bit of light in the area. But other than that, there's only the light on Haley's axe or Holly's axe. Sound like you're about to say ass. Like, damn. <laughs> Almost did. <laughs> the light on Holly's ass lights the way. Everybody uh, can easily make it to shore. And you all have made it out of the Uzim Temple. And that's where we'll end the session for the day. <laughs> about, about 30 minutes later, you see this gelatinous cube bob up. Zappity gloop. All right. With all of that, thank you all for joining. We will see you in the next in the next one, and hopefully we'll make it to Greckelstug. Oh no! We gotta be how, getting a level soon. How how good do uh, mushrooms survive in water? Fine. Depends on the mushroom, I think. Tool's fine. You, you you could grab some barrel stock and start a fire. Uh, I barrel was, stock is pretty much kind of like like wood. I was really thinking about my them. mushrooms, but I'm glad stool is okay. <laughs> stool is swollen. <laughs> he he needs to be squished and dried out, maybe. <laughs> He's MVP. I mean, he is baby. Little mushroom guy.